first one I was so occupied, but I guess boy on that one, this one is a girl. I think it's a girl. Yay! I think it's a boy. But I hope it's a girl for Kyle. <laughs> Sonogram looks a little bit like a girl. And Vicky thinks it's a girl. Yes, I gotta say it's a boy. <laughs> Another boy. Do you got a guess? A girl. Girl? Alright. Yeah. Julian, what's your guess? What do you think? <laughs> Alright, let's go to Julian's mom. What's Julian's mom thing? <laughs> I think it's gonna be a girl. Julian? <laughs> You want a girl or a boy? He's holding a blue sock. We'll go with boy. I'm voting for a girl. Yeah. I was going to say girl, or I've been saying girl. Well, it's a Good morning. <laughs> it's baby day, and I am a flurry of emotions and excitement, and just everything and so today is September 17th um, I'm delivering a few days before I turn 38 weeks before the baby turns 38 weeks due to a pretty crazy pregnancy um, and I was up all night with really crazy like it felt like it was coming from my my c-section incision and it was making me so worried, but it just really like solidified in my mind that and the fact that it's already over eight pounds, that today is the right day. Oh my gosh, I'm like already getting ready to start crying. <laughs> I just like, I'm so emotional about Ford, how he's gonna adjust it. Like, is he gonna like having a sibling and his little world's gonna get rocked. <laughs> but then we're so excited to give him a sibling at the same time. It's just, it's just a lot. But we will take you through this journey today as we have this sweet little baby that we are so grateful and excited to have. Good morning! Then it sounds too good to be true. It is. Hey, Ford. How do you think mommy's chasing you? Are you a little bit nervous? Guess what? Your brother or sissy's gonna love you so much. Tiku, tiku. Oh, yeah. You want to talk? You want to do selfie mode? Okay. We have dropped Ford off. We are in the car. In eight minutes, I am supposed to be in the hospital, getting prepped for the C-section, which will be at noon. So, hello, Dad of hello. the Year. Salutations. <laughs> um, this is the first time I'm seeing two car seats in the back. <laughs> which is so bizarre and I just like don't know what to think like I was so emotional last time going from like us two to one baby and now I'm so emotional going from one baby to two babies I don't know when this lets up um but I just feel like a flurry of emotions <laughs> what do you feel I feel good I'm excited um Mouse doing a great job taking care of this baby in a big old belly. <sighs> uh, and I'm just excited to bring this little baby home, show him or her the world. So, what's your last guess? I Daddy? think I'm gonna go. I, I wanna say girl, but I feel like I'm gonna be surprised that it's a boy. Really? I don't know. You've been saying girl the whole time. I'm, I'm truly 50 50. I'm truly 50 50. Truly 50, 50. The best yeah. feeling is when. We know what it is, and I get to walk out and tell all the families. That's the coolest feeling. But what's better than that is when I get to tell my wife. Oh. That's such a cool feeling. It's the best. Okay, I'm not gonna get emotional. <laughs> I've already been crying this morning. We have like literally the best nurse ever, and all of the doctors just like came in to say hi that have been my doctors. It was so sweet. She's got her weave in. I got my weave in. Her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is Aaron, and yeah. Aaron is the best. <gasps> Sorry, I didn't even ask if you want to be on camera. I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling, Daddy? Feeling good. Feeling good. Okay. Excited. Are we going to have you announce? Are we going to have you stand up and announce? Yeah. Did you do it last time? Yeah. That was his yeah. favorite like, part. Did you fall out part. on me? You no. better no. not He's not like that. Yeah, I saw all the guts. Oh. <laughs> now time for the outfit of the day. 
<laughs> Went with the all white. Mallory in the pastel blue. <laughs> the weave. <laughs> and the fresh I wore manicure. My straight weave today, and they only had it's a boy. They didn't have it's a girl, so I went with it's a boy. But that does not mean anything. My hands and arm is already swelling. As soon as they put that IV in, I feel like you automatically like start to swell and feel it. But I'm ready. I feel so excited and grateful and blessed to have another sweet angel come into the world. Mallory is going back. I have a beard cover for my beard. This is. The chair I sat in last time, so we're all very, very excited, a little nervous. You always, you know, a little nervous for your wife when they go back there. You just want to make sure everything goes well, but I know it will. Um, here we go. All right. Well, it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> So this is our little boy, <laughs> our second little boy, and he's so precious. He's been out for about five minutes, and he's just so sweet, and I'm so happy to have another little boy. Ford's friend. <laughs> How you feel, Daddy? So good. So awesome. Precious boy. <laughs> Mommy loves you. Wow. Well. It is the end of day two. So where this vlog cut off yesterday was Kyle telling our family <clears throat> that we had a precious baby boy, me holding the baby. Everything seemed to be great. All hell broke loose. <laughs> you know how they say like, make plans and God laughs? Well, everything was great. <clears throat> and then things started to take a turn. The baby would not come out because I had so much fluid. So much fluid. In fact, when they cut me open, they said it was like a water park in there. <laughs> um, so they had to use the vacuum to get him out. So it was kind of, you know, I noticed there was something kind of going down with that during the C-section. Then... Um, I hear him talking kind of over the cover. I have the most amazing OB in the entire world. We don't know if maybe it was because they had to be kind of rough taking him out or, or if it was scar tissue. But there was something that looked like some sort of like something on my bladder. So they left me open on the table and called um, someone that had a specialized in urology or something over during my c-section to look at it that was a long process they had to put a stitch in whatever so that ended up being okay by the end of the c-section because my my spinal was starting to wear off i was like "Ooh, so i can i can feel the stitches and um that was different also those things are all fine and like i can get through whatever but here was the part that was really tough and like, Lord, I cried yesterday and I was, now I'm good. So I can talk about it. But we always knew that with me having gestational diabetes, there was a chance that once they cut the umbilical cord and the baby that's used to getting all of this higher level of sugar than a lot of babies, um, then their pancreas uh, is not producing uh, like a normal baby's pancreas. Long story short, when they cut his umbilical cord um you know everything seemed fine when he was on my chest and everything they tested his sugar and it was critical they tried to test it again because it was like so low it wouldn't even read it was still critical so they said we're going to take your baby to transition which is like the step before the NICU or like the step before they go back to your room so I did not think there was any chance he was going to have to go to the NICU he um, continued to read extremely low. It's very critical when a baby's sugar gets that low. So he was admitted to the NICU. And anyone whose child and your child was probably like, you know, way had so many more things going on than mine did. So I can't even imagine what you must be dealing with with that. When they take your baby from you, it is like the most bizarre 
saddening, devastating experience. And um, even though, like, I knew that it was it was potentially only going to be for a few hours or whatever. Well, long story short, it ended up being for a couple of days. And we're still at the end of the second day. He's been in the NICU. And um, they've been testing his sugars every six hours and weaning him off this IV. So he has an IV in his arms, which is like, it was just heartbreaking. And um, the good news is that today they let me breastfeed him twice and it was amazing he's like the best little nurser they let me do skin to skin with him I got to feed him two of his feedings and I'm just really grateful that um, he, he was able to do that because it would have been a critical situation had there not been a such thing as an NICU I did not expect to have to go through that I expected him to be in his little box right here between me and his daddy uh, where his brother was um, last year but it's okay. They were like, well, we'll try and get him out of here when you get out of here. And I was just like, what? How did this happen? Like, we didn't anticipate this at all. He's 37 and a half, almost 38 weeks. We had my sugars, like, fairly under control. But, you know, with birth and with babies and just all the crazy things that can happen in pregnancy, especially this pregnancy that I've had, um, things can happen. I have the best, most precious husband over here that's been changing my underwear and <laughs> being a precious angel. And we've been going and visiting our sweet baby boy in the NICU and um, and it's been a really good day. We announced the gender, everyone was super surprised. April and them have been installing the nursery today. We can't wait for that video which is coming next. And um, we will introduce you to our precious precious little boy tomorrow because if his sugars are great through the night they've been weaning him off he's almost completely off of his little um sugar drip and um he gets to move in here with us for the last day they say you don't like a kid to move back in with their parents but we we will take it <laughs> oh that little boy it, he is so precious i called it i said i, I really feel like the second baby is going to be, like, precious. Things. I feel like his vibe is, like, <laughs> Ford's going to be running, like, let's play hide and seek. And the new baby. The new baby <laughs> is going to be just sitting on a couch, like, okay, Ford, you go hide, I'll count. Just go hide for a little <laughs> while. And just sit and, like, read a We book. think he's going to be, like, a little calm guy. He's an old soul. <laughs> we have a new roommate this evening. Let's go. We don't know how rowdy he gets at night yet, so. They let him come down this morning after lunch. His blood sugars did good once they took the IV out. So uh, they're gonna come do some more tests tomorrow, but so far so good. So it's gonna be our first night with our son. And on the last night, <laughs> it is my favorite night because it is date night <laughs> up in the room. And I will show you a nice tablecloth. We got some cheesecake right here. And then on the main course, oh, a nice steak. <laughs> got me a nice Coke to drink, some Caesar salad. So this is my favorite, I always tell Mal, this is my favorite date we've ever been on. The last night at the hospital is my favorite, so we are very excited. As you can see, I put some gel in my hair from date night. Mally brushed her teeth, you know what that means. Can't make her laugh because it hurts her scar. But uh, yeah, so this is our last night here. So far, so good. We're really um, grateful that they let us have our baby. It, it, really puts things in perspective when you're up in the, the NICU and you see the families up there and the babies that have been up there for weeks if not months. So um, we're very grateful to have a healthy baby and I'm grateful to have a healthy wife. So um, we're excited. Our house is going to be completely nuts with two boys, a wild pug, <laughs> and big mama. <laughs> when you have a baby, um, it just makes you realize like the important things in your life and like we were just sitting there today with him in the NICU just like holding them 
You okay, baby? And I was like, there is truly nothing better than this in the whole world. Like, if there is anything better than having a sweet child and, like, holding it with a precious husband beside you and knowing you're going home to a house with another happy baby, like, there's just, there's truly nothing better in the whole entire world.